Welcome to the Wellness for Women show, where we talk about life, weight loss and everything in between. I'm Faye Caseman, founder of the AAA Way Life and Weight Loss Program, and I'm here to help you put together the pieces of life and weight loss for one last time. This is an episode of the Wellness for Women show, filmed live in the free Facebook group. Good evening, good evening, ladies. Um, it is good to be here. Happy Wednesday to you all. Um, so what are we going to talk about? Or what am I going to talk about today um, is stepping into action, how to keep weight loss so simple, you don't even know you are doing it. That's what I like to hear. Uh, so let me know, as usual, if you are catching this on live or on replay, drop me something in the chat. Let me know that you are here and you're watching it and uh, what your biggest takeaways are. Uh, join in throughout the video as well. Uh, whether you're watching live or replay, it doesn't matter. The comments will show at the appropriate time in the video. So I'm going to uh, kick off today's live with a quote from Steve Jobs, which is the only way to do great work is to do work that you love or do to love what you do. <laughs> Same thing, right? <laughs> so last week I talked about the importance of gathering awareness about your life and weight loss. And I talked about how the key is the method that you choose. Um, so if, I was talking about if you operate by someone else's rules, you'll never quite feel in alignment. And if you're out of alignment, it could impact on your long term success. Um, so if you ask yourself just one question today, ask yourself, am I happy with what I am doing right now in my life and weight loss? And if the answer to that is yes, that is brilliant, ultimately. And if the answer to that is no, then I would encourage you to consider whether you're on the best path for you and to think about how you could take steps to change it, uh, which is ultimately what this is about, is about stepping into action. So let me know in the chat, are you a yes or are you, are you a no? So are you happy with where you're at in your life and weight loss at the moment? Leave me a yes. If you're um, you know, not and you'd wish things were different, then drop me a no and uh, we'll go from there. So quick intro time for those who don't know me. I am Faye Casement. I am a life and weight loss coach. Uh, I've lost over 65 pounds, knocking the 70 pounds, um, knocking 70 pounds on the door at the moment, just uh, literally a, a couple of ounces off uh, via a power combo of intuitive eating and life coaching. And as a result of that, I know that the weight is not coming back and I'm now trying to help other women to find food freedom and lasting weight loss uh, and ultimately to let go of yo-yo dieting, restrictive diets. Um, and I do that through my coaching, which I do one to one. And I also have a membership where I teach um, the methodology that I've used and um, that can uh, basically get you lasting weight loss. Uh, if you are interested in knowing more, either reach out to me in Messenger or the links are in my bio. So just click on my click on my face and uh, it will take you there. Uh, so I want to ask you, do you feel like you are having to hustle daily for your diet? Do you determine whether a day is good or bad based on what you've eaten that day? Do you ever feel so crappy about your day and or your progress that day that you eat your face off in the kitchen? And do you wish that weight loss was easier? If so, I've got you. Ultimately, the key to peaceful and sustainable weight loss is not just about what you eat. It's about when, where, how and why, as we discussed last week. So by gathering awareness, and especially if you're making your commitment super realistic, you will gather some wins and start to build up some trust with yourself again. That's an important part of that process. And that, you know, because ultimately that trust has been eroded over the years because of the failed dieting and the on and off dieting. And so it's critical if you want lasting weight loss that you need to learn to trust yourself again, trust yourself around food, your decision making, um, so that you can stay the course, basically. Um, and it's all about being able to get to the point where you are showing up for yourself daily, doing what you said that you're going to do. And then when you step into action, those actions become easier because you've got that trust that you will do what you say that you're going to do. So you may have already started, you know, if you've been looking to gather some awareness, um, you perhaps already got a list of things that come up for you personally. Um, and this ultimately is where you then go into problem solving mode um, and look to get, you know, for your weight loss path that's unique to you, your life and your relationship with food. And that's again, that's the, the critical thing here. You know, 
if you follow other people's paths, it's not necessarily this is where the alignment comes in. It's got to be something that is important to it's got to be important to you. It's got to fit your life. It's got to fit in with whatever it is that you're struggling with in the weight loss. So for lasting weight loss, I said it's about stepping into action with super uber doable process goals, um, making small changes daily is what will help you to build healthier habits that can be sustained long term and as they're so you know if you make them so small you're not even going to notice that you're doing them so the other great thing in building this trust with yourself is that it also then knocks into other life areas so you can start to apply the same methodology that I teach pretty much anywhere in life so if that sounds good to you give me a thumbs up in the chat uh, that would be awesome so the summary really is daily small changes equals big, big long term wins um, and the devil is in the process. So what is a process goal? So a process goal is a goal that you can complete as opposed to an outcome goal, which are goals that you achieve. So, for example, your outcome goal might be or an outcome goal would be to lose weight or again, as dieters, we might say, I want to lose two pounds this week or something like that. Um, but that isn't necessarily within your control but a process goal is that I'm gonna how I'm gonna get there so it might be that I want to eat some more fruit and vegetables or I'm gonna start eating fruit with my breakfast or something like that so process goals are key to weight loss because they they're what help you to stay on track and make progress towards your ultimate goals and the process is that one thing that you truly can be in control of um, and I'll say that again because it's really important you are the one in control of the process, but you have to love the process and it needs to be something. So it needs to be something simple and doable and something that fits your life. So as a dieter, you are likely consumed by the numbers, the number of points or sins you have, the number of calories, the number on the scale. Um, but for true lasting weight loss, these honestly don't matter um, in the end, I should say. You know, it takes a little while to change the mindset, but ultimately you could take them all away and still lose weight just by focusing on the process and improving the process daily and gathering up these little wins. And that's ultimately all I've done in order to lose um, my 70 pounds and this is where the freedom comes in because you start to trust and grow and trust and grow that self-judgment again your own judgment and dis, you know judgment over the decisions uh, or trust in the decisions again rather than what you're being told I should say um, and also as well the way that I teach weight losses is, is that it's about making sure that you eat exactly what you want you know this is not you, sh you shouldn't feel restricted in any way shape or form if you're following the methodology that I'm suggesting basically um, and the most likely thing to knock a dieter off course is those numbers um, because somewhere down the line we perhaps then don't meet our expectations you know so if the scale says it's a gain or you overeat your calories um, then you tend to be a bit disappointed. But if you stay on course and you don't let those numbers derail you, then they don't matter in the end as long as you keep chipping away at the process. And ultimately, I've been, um, I'm obviously in a number of weight loss groups and I'm on Instagram and I'm seeing the, um, the difficulties that some that, that people go through with losing weight through traditional methods and it's breaking my heart a little bit if I'm honest I mean I've just seen somebody in a group where they were saying that they just they, oh, oh my goodness I've been so bad today I've eaten such and such rice and uh such and such a uh, half a can of root beer and I'm just like wow you know the the, the sheer torment that that person has gone through from eating some food um and food is not the enemy ladies this is the thing um food is not the enemies the 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 the, the what of the food isn't necessarily always um like I say what you eat is not necessarily always critical that said obviously building up healthy healthier habits you know looking to incorporate healthier foods of course that's going to help um and you know will will help with your weight loss um but you can, if all you're going to do is look to try and eat what you perceive to be healthier foods, um, 
and restrict restrict so again another thing that I see is people restricting themselves effectively all all week and not eating what they want and then resorting to a cheat meal but you've got to say is that sustainable to feel crappy for six days of the week and only enjoy one meal of the week or something like that you know so you know there's basically there's another way um and that is by looking at your actions um getting that awareness like I discussed last week and stepping into action and in the in the triple a way it's all about making peace with the scale so the scale doesn't know how hard you've worked that week and it doesn't know how desperately you want to show it to show a different number um now i cover this more in my program but i just want everybody to remember that you are so much more than a number on the scale um and there is so much more to weight loss um than just food the food that you eat and and the weight that you want to lose it's about your life your mind your body um far more they're far more important than the sins or calories that you've had in a in a day or a week you know when you've lost your weight you won't remember that you had this bad week or anything like that so look at the process look at what you're doing and what you're changing and how you're growing within that journey as that's where the real power comes from the change the change that you go through um and the, and and everything that you learn and the strength that you grow um in going through that weight loss journey is what is going to be the most powerful transformation for you the the losing the weight yeah not going to lie it's great I've, i feel great that i've lost 70 pounds my health is better um my uh, you know my confidence is better but my confidence is also better because of the journey and how i know that i've damn well showed up for myself in that process and that I've never and that I've not given up and that I've worked on that daily to get where I am um so once you lean into the process and um trust the process and commit to never giving up on the process that's when you find lasting weight loss and food freedom because you're gonna it's about building it in a way that it turns into your living your life you know, so not living it through restriction, but living it with, um, you know, joy and intention effectively. So some tips on, I'll get off my pedestal now, uh, tips on how to make some small manageable changes in your life and weight loss. So it's important here to consider what changes you can make in your life and weight loss. So for example, if you are somebody who has a tendency to eat after a long day at work, uh, that's certainly something that I used to find was one of my problem areas, then it's about looking at what happens at work, not just about what you're eating, because so no matter, matter what you're eating in the evening, if you're overeating because you've had a bad day at work, um, then it, again, you're still overeating, basically. Um, it's about having compassion for yourself and the situation or the series of situations that's arisen to lead to that point in time but also then identifying how you react to those situations. And that comes down to your thoughts, which is what I'm going to cover next week, which is the next module, which is mind injury, which is all about the mindset of weight loss. Um, because again, weight loss, believe it or not, ladies, does not come from what we eat. It comes from our thoughts about what we eat. So we'll cover that off uh, or I'll cover that off next week. So or one of the other things that you might be, as I say, you might be a clock eater like I was, you know, so sometimes that awareness is enough to just break you out of that habit. Sometimes you need a method. Um, what is important is not to try and change too many things at once. I think this is what can lead to overwhelm and burnout, uh, which ultimately will halt your process, lead to plateaus and ultimately impact your the speed of your weight loss goals. So. Um, instead of focusing, you know, so instead of going all in, so again, my concern with, um, with sort of more the mainstream diets, it's kind of an all or nothing kind of thing, you know, you've either eaten your calories or you've not eaten your calories, or you, you've either eaten your sins or not eaten your sins and stuck to plan, not to stuck to plan, that kind of thing. Um, and instead of um, kind of going all in and having to do these what I feel are restrictive methodologies. It's about just trying to focus on making small manageable changes that you can then repeat over time. Um, and then when you're ready, you level them up 
and you make another little change and another little change and another little change until eventually you've got it all on lock. That's not to say that the lock sometimes doesn't fall off again, because it does. But the point is, you've then got that process, you've got that trust in yourself, you know exactly what's happened because you've got the awareness and then you just pick it up again and you just keep on going. Um, and so you can't fail, basically. Um, so I said this um, last week and again, I'll say it again, but, you know, this really is um, a key component. You've really got to meet yourself where you are at at this precise moment in time and build up to where you want to be and need to be with your food, your movement and your life. Um, that way, like I say, there'll be lasting habits rather than short lived bursts of restriction and deprivation. Um, and again, the important thing with meeting yourself where you're you're at is, again, that's what brings the compassion back into it, uh, which I'm going to cover in a couple of weeks time. Um, because, you know, we have such high expectations of ourselves. Um, and that ultimately is what causes the self-sabotage sometimes. So, again, if we expect that we are going to want to eat chicken and broccoli after a hard day at work, probably not managing our own expectations, you know? So again, having that awareness, knowing that comes up, you can then choose actions that fit with your life and where you are at, rather than trying to always proverbially trying to fit the square peg in the round hole. So always being aware, that's my other tip. Uh, sounds so simple, but it really is a big part of um, mindful weight loss, uh, stepping into action is one side of the triangle, but awareness then has to come with it, or you'll fall back into your old patterns and behaviours. So for instance, if you are trying to check in on your physical satisfaction levels, which is again what I talked about last week for intuitive eating, um, but you're not aware because you've got the TV on, then ultimately eating can then become a mindless act again. And before you know it, you've eaten two servings of your food instead of one. So the trick is to try and be aware and step into action around those behaviours and habits so that you can break them and create new ones and keep your weight loss moving forward. And so ultimately, it is all about progress, not perfection. Um, and I think, again, as, as dieters, we are all perfectionists to the core. You know, if we didn't do what we said we were going to do, it's beat down central. Um, and I say, I know it's one that many people struggle with. I did too, still a recovering perfectionist. I have my days where, you know, it, it all still comes in, but I've got the tools now to try and combat that and combat it quicker um, because of that practice. Um, temptation, I say, after years of beating yourself up as a dieter is strong, but the art of getting what you need done and taking action daily and, and and picking yourself up with kindness after those small step up, slip ups and um, missteps along the way is what's key. Um, another top tip here, really talking the blindingly obvious, you literally do have to step into action. So you are what you do, not what you say. So there can be, again, I think a lot of time wasted as dieters trying to find the right diet, the right exercise. Um, this is, again, all normal for us humans. We love a shiny new object and the chance that there's a miracle cure around the corner. And I hate to burst the bubble here, but there are no miracles unless we make them. You know, so I saw this in a, in the previous program that I was in where a lot of time would be spent watching and listening to content, but then it wasn't really being applied. And the key is to focus on you and what you can do today. So how can you take action and start making small changes today? Uh, well, this comes down to, again, what I said last week, really. So setting those realistic commitments and asking yourself questions like, how can I prioritize my weight loss today? Um, or how can I prioritize my well-being or my wellness? However you want to phrase it, whatever you're focusing on. And then another question that's good is, you know, what is one small action I can take towards lasting weight loss today? Another one is what am I prepared to try today? Because again, sometimes we get stuck doing the same old thing. Or how can I make my day easier? Because again, this shouldn't be purgatory, ladies. This should be something that you are living and breathing and trying to enjoy the process as much as possible. And then obviously we've still got being mindful of your physical body needs, like I said last week. So how can, you, how can I eat more mindfully today? Or can I just leave a couple of extra bites behind on my plate today and see how I feel? 
And the other thing is then to conduct the curious and kind assessment. That again, I talked about last week. So there's no point in beating yourself up over something you cannot change, but you can learn from it with compassion and kindness. So celebrate the fact that you stepped into action, no matter how big or how small, it's a win. And messy action is 100% better than no action in terms of progress. So progress over perfection and all that, as I said before. And again, share it with others. Losing weight will have its ups and downs. Um, you can make it, you can make, you can try and make it easy. But as a dieter, you will still have some work, though. You know, stuff's going to come up along the way. Um, and to get to the place where you have freedom, that's where really, like I say, you want to ideally look at getting good, a coach or a community or both behind you because it is invaluable. OK, so that is me for this week again. Um, hopefully you've got some nuggets there. It would be great. Anybody who gets a chance to watch this to leave me your biggest takeaway. Let me know what it is that you uh, like the most about the live, what it is that you want to try next. Uh, so that's it until next week. Like I say, go out there, take some action today. Look to make it so simple and doable that you can continually do it con consistently. Um, and let me know how you get on. Thanks for listening. And don't forget, if you want to boost your life and weight loss the AAA way, check out the relevant links for today's show in the description. Speak soon.